Welcome to the Maritime Vision Podcast. I'm your host, Paul Wioli. In each episode, we bring you exclusive interviews with maritime professionals, industry experts, and students. Our guests come from different backgrounds, including shipping, yachting, offshore, supply chain, and more. Our goal is to give you all the knowledge you need to succeed in the maritime industry. Hello everyone, welcome back to a new podcast episode. On today in this podcast episode, we are with ICS Greeks. Uh, so ICS, this is the Institute of Chartered Shipbroker. I don't know if I pronounce in a good way. Uh, and we are joined by Stravula. She is the academic coordinator uh, of ICS Greece. So maybe um, uh, Stravula, can you uh, introduce yourself, please? Uh, yes, hello, uh, Paul Louis. Thank you for inviting us uh, to do this podcast, uh, which I hope is um, helpful for all those that they are uh, listening to us and for those that they want to find out more about the Institute of Chartered Sea Brokers. So, yes, my name is Debra Letape. I'm a fellow member of the Institute and I'm the academic coordinator of um, the ICS courses uh, of uh, the ICS uh, Greek brands. Uh, so, um, a little bit of, um, if you want to start with a little bit of uh, an overview. Yes, the and... overview. Yeah. Yes. What? So, just uh, some general information about uh, our organization. Uh, the Institute of Chartered Sea Brokers, um, Greek brands, is established uh, by Natalia Maggioli back in 2003 in Greece. Uh, so, it's more than 20 years uh, back and is the official education provider of ICS um, professional qualification in our country. Uh, the, the Institute of Charter Sea Brokers uh, was established back in uh, 1911 in London, UK. Uh, so it's um, the only internationally recognized professional body which um, uh, sets the highest standards of uh, professionalism through its um, courses and its membership. It's a professional body, not only for sea brokers, maybe the title sometimes um, uh, creates a bit yeah. of confusion, uh, but uh, we are here to represent all the professionals of uh, the shipping market, um, of the commercial shipping market. Okay, so our members and students come from various backgrounds. Um, they might be uh, from the finance, chartering, operations, insurance, legal departments, mm. Um, and other related um, professions uh, within the industry. Just to give you some figures about the ICS, um, the ICS uh, network consists of um, 27 international branches all over the world in key shipping areas. Um, and uh, we have um, the, the Institute as a whole is uh, has a um, pretty much 7,000 members and fellows. Uh, yeah. Every year, more than 3,000 students are taking the exams in a global uh, level. Uh, so to be more specific about the Greek brands, um, every year we have like um, 350 students taking the exams and we account um, pretty much um, like 400 um, uh, members. Uh, our brand is considered to be a model brand and uh, I'm very proud uh, for this uh, because we have done um, you know, um, a lot of effort to bring the Institute in uh, first level of professional education uh, within our network in uh, Greece. So it's a model brand not only because of the number of students and members uh, taking the exams and receiving uh, the membership, uh, but also it's uh, the Greek brands has established a very um, uh, strong bond with uh, with the market. So we have uh, very strong connections with the shipping companies, the ship working offices, and all the other shipping related companies in um, in Greece. So, uh, as I said, it's not only an educational hub, um, but also a vital point of um, reference for shipping professionals in Greece. And um, this, uh, this, can, this can be easily uh, seen uh, through our active role um, 
in organizing uh, networking events for the Greek members in the Greek shipping community, educational seminars, webinars, and other social events, which brings the industry together. Okay. Uh, I just have one question. I, I didn't provide you this question, mm -hmm. but it's a Greek bunch. But uh, I mean, it's not only for Greek people. I think that's very important to, to, to come up with this idea. I mean, it's for all international people. Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate a little bit on it, please? Yes, actually, uh, as I said, we have ICS has uh, 27 branches around the world. So basically, we have some geographical restrictions, meaning that if you are based in uh, Dubai, you have to address your um, questions. On, to our brands in the Middle East, or if you're based in India, you can uh, directly contact our brands in um, India uh, or in the UK, uh, wherever you are uh, based. Uh, however, not all of the branches deliver um, the educational um, programs with um, in, in the style that, that uh, we do. Uh, but of course, um, we are happy to help anyone uh, wherever he or she is um, based, and we okay, work great. under the same uh, the same format, and we do follow the same syllabus, uh, the same examinations. Everything is um, you know is the same wherever you are or yeah, whatever. Yeah, same program, the same. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Okay, so uh, now can you maybe talk a little bit more about the program itself? So what kind of, uh, what type of educational programs we have, the courses? Uh, can you explain a, a little bit, please? Yeah, so our pinnacle and our core uh, educational program is the ICES Professional Maritime Program, which uh, has been designed in order to uh, in order to offer uh, the syllabus as said by the Institute of Chartered Sea Brokers. So what we do is that we offer all the modules of uh, the PQE, the Professional Qualifying um, Syllabus of the Institute, within one uh, year. Uh, this is a professional course which is um, which aligns with the demands of uh, the industry. All the lectures are offered by shipping professionals, so um, uh, we have people from uh, various um, departments and sectors delivering these uh, lectures, and uh, we are focused on providing practical knowledge ready to be applied to their to, to the students and the, to the participants' work environments. Uh, okay. The program um, is addressed to professionals who want to advance and certify their shipping knowledge, their, to certify their expertise, uh, but is also addressed to fresh graduates of maritime, finance, business, economics, naval architecture, engineering, and other um, academic uh, backgrounds. So basically, the, the qualification is uh, open to all those who want to advance their knowledge and to all those that they want to, to enter this fascinating industry. Of course, nice. uh, we, we can accept, we accept also uh, officers of the merchant Marine willing to combine to enhance actually their seagoing experience and to get the commercial knowledge. So as um, after you know after deciding that they want to find a job in an office, so they can easily combine their seagoing experience and the commercial uh, knowledge that uh, is needed for their daily job. Apart okay. from this uh, one-year course, the ICES Professional Maritime Program, which prepares the students for the examinations of the Institute, we do offer um, plenty of uh, other courses, um, either in a more advanced level, like um, seminars, like uh, uh, on various topics, let's say on, charter, on the latest developments of charter parties, bills of lading, uh, claims handling, operations, um, numerous of um, topics. And we do also offer this, the, the Understanding Shipping course, which is um, a course of uh, the Institute of Charter Sea Brokers designed for those that they want to get an idea 
of the shipping industry, but they don't want to get into depth of its concept. Uh, so, for example, if someone has a little or no background in shipping, he or she can start uh, by attending this um, entry cor- entry level uh, course, the Understanding Shipping course, and then move on to the professional qualifying examinations. Okay. So you can take one separate course uh, on, or, or you have the other one, which is the comp- all the courses together, then to, to get the ICS uh, membership. Yes, yes. For example, if someone has already um, an academic um, background, bachelor or master's in shipping and maritime studies or an LLM in maritime law or um, a naval engineering uh, background, of course, he can um, decide to get directly to the professional qualifying examinations. But if someone is He's not sure if uh, this is what mm-hmm. um, uh, he wants to do in his uh, professional uh, career. Yeah, he can start from our understanding shipping course. Okay, very interesting. Okay, so if I just take uh, the case of I have a friend who really wants to, to become, for example, a shipbroker, and what kind of advice can you give to him? What is the best course for him? Definitely. Uh, the ISIS Professional Maritime Program uh, and take the ICS exams yeah. okay. with a okay. focus on the chartering side of um, our modules. We do offer a range of uh, modules. I think we, we will discuss um, further yes, yes, sure. uh, later, but of course, combining some um, chartering courses with ship operations and management courses, or even a legal course. I know it's difficult, but it's necessary for those that they want to yeah. um, to get into the chartering and the ship broking side of um, yeah. of the industry. So yeah, definitely the ICSPQE. Yeah. Perfect. Great. So uh, I just want to ask you now the fact that uh, we are a member of the ICS. Uh, what kind of benefits we can have? Like I imagine networking, meeting new people. So yes, um, as we said, uh, the ICS has a great network of uh, professionals, um, members and students uh, currently taking the exams or those that they have already passed their exams and they are members. So there's a big um, networking um, uh, opportunity in front of uh, everyone who joins uh, the ICS. It connects over 7,000 shipping professionals and practitioners uh, globally. Uh, And, um, you know, it's uh, when when you are in uh, in the ship working side, and you see a member that he is your charterer or your the mm-hmm. owner. Of course, you have a mutual understanding. Let's say uh, yeah. so. In terms of a professional um, uh, network, this is uh, the best I can say. Um, generally, the the the, the Greek brands to speak uh, about us is very active in promoting these networking uh, opportunities. And uh, we are are continuously trying to build up this uh, network. And um, another important point uh, is that we are trying to promote as well the professional, the continuous professional development of our members and students. So by organizing um, seminars, uh, webinars and other kind of, um, you know, conferences uh, uh, and any other kind of uh, events, not only our members um, enhance their continuous professional development, but they also uh, brought their um, their networks, meet new people, meet new professionals, and this is done in a global um, level. Uh, and uh, one of okay. the most important things uh, for those that they are young or they are new entrants in the um, in the industry uh, is that uh, we are connectors let's say 
between mm -hmm. companies and our pool of members and students. So um, this is a real case that's happening in Greece. Uh, most of the shipping companies and they, the HR departments of the shipping companies, they are asking to hire new professionals in their workforce through our pool of, um, of uh, members and students, which is really important, especially for those that they are now, okay. you know, uh, trying to um, uh, to develop their oh, no. career. Yes. Yeah. To um, build in Greece as well, we are. Uh, maybe you have uh, heard about that. Uh, we are organizing a huge conference every year. It is our yeah. ICS annual forum. Yeah. Uh, it's one one of uh, the largest conferences in Greece, uh, held uh, the last eighteen years, um, and we host eminent speakers from all over the uh, the as the spectra of uh, the industry. Um, this conference attracts more than uh, five hundred professionals, uh, not only from uh, Greece but um, uh, from all over the world. So uh, this this is a, an example of um, of an event which brings together people from all over the place, uh, from all over the um, mm -hmm. the world, and they can you know develop this networking and benefit from these networking opportunities. Okay, Venice is very is good to know actually. Yeah. And, this event uh, is quite uh, famous. Yeah. yeah, and in a global uh, level, let's say that um, uh, there was a member based in uh, Bulgaria, and he was seeking for uh, an agent in um, in Greece, in uh, in a port in the north side of uh, Greece. So we had a member there. He's an agent. So our member from Bulgaria did business with a member from Greece located in a port okay. where he had, you know, so these are, this is a kind of um, examples where the ICS membership plays a, a very important role in creating business bonds and business connections. Okay. It's very interesting. Very interesting to know. I want to ask you now another question more regarding, uh, can you uh, tell us about um, how the ICS pro uh, professional maritime program uh, prepare uh, students for ICS exams. Okay, so uh, as I said before, this is a professional course, which means that everything is approached in a very practical uh, way. So we get away of uh, the theory of uh, theory, and we are trying to, um, uh, you know, trying to apply what we learn within the class in a real uh, life um, examples. So we take a holistic approach to prepare our students not only to pass and to succeed at uh, the ICS exams, but we prepare them for a career in shipping. The okay. lectures are designed and delivered in a way to be practical and directly relevant to the ICS examinations. It's not about uh, theory, as I said. It's about applying what you learn in the real world scenarios. So okay. we also imagine that we are also include the writing skills workshop to help the students to respond to the questions clearly and effectively. Um, a very important skill which is crucial both for the exams and both for and for the professional journey of um, the students. So it's not only a typical lecture that you hear, you listen to a lecturer and instructor um, discussing about the topic. It's about taking this knowledge and put it on a, um, on a paper, let's say. We provide mm. access okay. um, to our educational platform where all lecture materials can be uploaded and there you can find anything that you can imagine that it could help the students to pass the exams and to uh, develop this critical thinking that uh, we all need to have during our day-to-day um, -day job. Uh, okay. If you face a problem in your uh, office, you need to have analytical analytical skills, critical thinking, sure. and try to you know to find the solution at the very best um, option. So, okay. uh, apart from uh, the the ICS books, 
which are designed according to the ICS syllabus and meet the, requ the requirements for the ICS examinations, um, we provide the students with um, numerous of, um, uh, of extra material, which can be like a market report, uh, an article on a specific um, topic, market updates. So everything is designed in order for the students to understand what we are talking about, to be part okay. of this topic. Okay. Okay. And to mention at this point that uh, the ICS books are constantly updated, so uh, there are uh, regular reviews of the books just to make sure that we are up to date. And these books okay. can can be used uh, can be used not only from the students for the scope of their exams, but um, they are these are popular to professionals outside the scope of the program. I mean, um, I would definitely suggest everyone has the copy of Sipping Law in uh, their offices. It's really important. We have them in, in my university. We have them. Yeah. And every time I, I take the book and I say, oh, I, I, I booked <laughs> the book for at least one month. I need to read it. <laughs> Everyone's fight each other because the, the book are very good. Uh, the structure of the book is, is very good. I mean, we have each topic. So we have Shipping Law, but we have a lot it's for everyone. So that's very good. Very, yeah. yeah. And they yeah. contain. Um, Lots of practical examples, lots of cases, which can be used uh, for your reference. Yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Um, now I just want to ask you uh, more like a question uh, regarding the different membership we have, because I think on the way, when when we go on the website, we can see many of them. Uh, or can you explain each of them on how we can distinguish them? Okay, so as we said, someone has to attend in seven modules and then take the seven uh, and then sit for the seven uh, examinations. All going well, if you pass seven examinations, you can apply for the ICS membership. There are some um, requirements that you have to meet, of course. Um, for example, you have to prove that you are involved in the shipping industry for a minimum of uh, years. You have to prove mm -hmm. that you have, of course, passed the exams. Um, and then you can apply for the full ISIS membership. You might have seen uh, the MICS initials next to um, a name, which means that someone is a full member of the Institute. This is the first yeah. stage of the ISIS membership. Uh, okay. So, those that they pass the exams become members and they earn this MICS qualification. And this is, this is more than just a fancy acronym. It is a worldwide recognition of competence, um, a proof that uh, you, have, um, uh, you have passed the demanding exams of uh, the Institute and for example, when you meet an ICS qualified professional, you are dealing with someone who truly understands the value of our motto. The ICS mm. motto is our word, our bond. This is a okay. commitment to business ethics. So it's not only that you have in front of you someone who is very, who is well qualified, you have someone that um, needs to do business with um, according to the ethics of ICS. Okay, okay so uh, th this doesn't stop there. So professions that they are involved in the industry for um, some years and they have uh, now a senior position, um, they can um, uh, be promoted to to be fellows of the institute. So okay. uh, once you are a member, and then you have a senior position in the shipping industry, you can um, upgrade yourself by becoming a fellow member of the institute. This is the highest level of ICES membership. Um, and of course, then we have the retired membership, which means that you have retired from the industry, but you want to keep uh, yourself close to the Institute. Uh, so yes, everything starts from the full membership, the MICS, and then you mm. can move to the fellowship 
uh, and become okay. an FNCS. You can see these initials next to my name as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. F yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, uh, can you, uh, because we have, uh, I mean, sometimes it's quite uh, hard to understand everything because you, uh, you have a lot of, you offer a lot of qualification. Uh, we have as well the professional qualifying examination. Uh, can you ex explain a little bit the structure of it, please? Okay. Before going to that, I forgot to mention about a, a new membership category. Uh, oh, yeah. our, yes, sorry to take you back to the previous question, but this is very important because um, ICS, uh, the Institute of Tournancy Brokers has a company membership scheme, but is only addressed to UK companies, to companies that they are registered in oh, okay. uh, UK uh, under a federation committee. So this year, it's the first time that a brand has established a company membership scheme outside UK. So this is the Greek brands. We are very happy and proud to say that we have just launched our company membership scheme, which means that we are expanding uh, the, our benefits to shipping companies registered in uh, Greece. Um, and I think that uh, in the next couple of years, they will be expanded in all over the world. So, for example, if a company uh, has uh, the ICS company membership and um, uh, has two or three members in uh, its, in its uh, workforce, so it's, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very important um, recognition for the for the company. So yes, this is a uh, an update right. about the membership um, levels. It's good to know. So you okay. asked me about the PQE. The PQE yeah, stands PQE. for the professional qualifying examinations. As yes. we said, someone that attends the ICS syllabus, the ICS courses, has then to take seven exams. The seven exams yeah. are the PQE, uh, okay. the Professional Qualifying Examinations. Um, this, out of these seven um, exams and modules, four are the compulsory ones. So everyone who takes the ICS examinations needs to pass four compulsory modules in order to, uh, you know, to bring everyone in the same level because we have people okay. coming from different backgrounds. So everyone has to attend introduction to shipping, shipping business, economics of sea transport, and legal principles in shipping business. These are our compulsory modules. Then every student has to select three elective modules out of a list of 20 uh, modules. Um, some of the popular elective courses are um, dry cargo chartering, tanker chartering, mm. ship operations and management, ship sale and purchase, shipping law, marine insurance, shipping finance, port agency, port and terminal management, uh, liner trades. I think I've, I've mentioned that everything. Yeah. End of story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So um, everyone has to take these uh, seven uh, modules in order to um, to take the PQE, to complete the ICS okay. examinations and then apply for the ICS um, membership. Okay, but very interesting. Course, so even the introduction. Yeah, this is, uh, I have a comment for that because uh, if someone has um, a maritime qualification, not more mm. than seven years, um, he or she can apply for some exemptions from the ICS examinations. Okay. So, for example, those that they are attending, um, let's say, a bachelor's in um, University of Plymouth. University of South Upper yeah. Solent, uh, you name it, um, they can be exempted uh, from uh, specific uh, examinations and specific modules. Um, the popular uh, module that anyone, I think, who has academic qualification or working experience is Introduction to Shipping, of course. And then ICS has a full list of academic qualifications which have okay. been assessed by our um, education committee and they have been granted with some exemptions. 
as you can understand, you cannot take an exemption in dry cargo chartering or in uh, tanker chartering. These are core no. um, modules. Yes. Yeah. So thank you, thank uh, you. if you're taking an exemption, this means that you need less time to complete your PQE. Okay, makes sense now. Uh, do you know how many times you, we need to uh, have this? Uh, I mean, yeah, the PQE, but it's uh, even for someone who wants just the foundation uh, diploma or the advanced diploma. Uh, how many time? How can we know about the the time to prepare everything? Okay, uh, the ICS uh, gives a bit. Uh, quite a good flexibility on completing your exams. So um, students taking the exams have um, five years to complete these exams, which means that okay. they can sit for any examination um, at uh, our examination sessions. The exams are set every November and May. So if, for example, you start with your studies in September, You can take some exams in November, take some other exams in May, and then mm. uh, defer the rest to the next academic year. We are quite flexible with that because ICS um, addresses to shipping uh, professionals, to people that they have work commitments, travel commitments, you know, and okay. uh, this makes it um, easier. Uh, this happens to all the professional qualifications, actually. So um, ICS is not an exemption. Okay. Okay. So imagine, can we have, because of course, sometimes we need to continue uh, alongside our professional life after, after studies. Uh, so can, can we have sponsors from the companies, for example, if, so, because yes. I heard about it. So Yes, yes. Uh, this is uh, quite common, uh, not only in Greece, but internationally. There are companies that they are sponsoring these um Uh, studies, if we can say, if we can call them studies, um, because uh, ICS qualification is an essential part of the professional mm. development of their employees. Uh, sometimes we have even uh, had the cases where someone uh, was attending an interview for uh, a position in a shipping company, and they said, and the manager said. Okay, but you don't have the ICS qualification. Are you planning starting the the ICS uh, program? Um, so I I I want to say that uh, on some occasions this is a prerequisite to take um, okay. Uh, okay. the job. But um, yes, uh, companies are uh, sponsoring and supporting these uh, studies. Yes. Yes. Very interesting. Very interesting. And about the preparation itself, um, for example, so of course you offer some uh, preparation, but do we have as well, we need to buy some books. Uh, can you explain uh, about all the preparation process for the exam, please? Yes. So um, apart from the ICS books that we have um, mentioned before, uh, there's a syllabus that we need to cover. And this syllabus is covered by the lectures that we deliver. So there's a proper structure of uh, covering the topics that uh, we need to cover in order to make sure that the students are well prepared for the ACES exams. Uh, the ACES books um, are, of course, part of this uh, preparation. And as I said, everything that happens around the world, every, um, every new, uh, all the news that they are now playing on, um, on the websites, they can be um, a potential exam topic. So we are mm. trying to make our students following up the markets, following up all the market updates in order to make sure that they can um, they can uh, meet all the um, requirements of the exams. Um, definitely the model that we have here in Greece by delivering the lectures um, proves that um, students are well prepared and this can uh, be seen from our, um, uh, you know, from our exam results. This year we had uh, seven prize winners, international prize winners, um, which means that 
okay, we do we do a good job, yeah. I think. But <laughs> nice. um, everything has to do with the students. So whatever you do, uh, if someone doesn't study a lot or doesn't engage himself with the lectures and um, the exam demands, nothing would happen. For sure. And if someone want to, because uh, I know some students did it alone, they didn't uh, mm -hmm. do some preparation. Uh, is it possible to do it alone or it's like the chances are very low to succeed? Yeah, it is possible. Yeah, it is possible. Actually, the ICA started um, like this. It was a self-study um, qualification. Uh, but mm -hmm. over the years, the, um, the exams, uh, you know, became more and more demanding and the competition has grown. Uh, we have more than 3,000 people taking the exams every year, so you can imagine. Um, yeah. But the value of the lectures and the value of having someone within the, in the classroom uh, to explain and to, you know, uh, transmit the knowledge, the practical knowledge, um, it cannot be compared by studying, you know, by yourself with a book in front of you. Yeah, sure. Uh, also, the value of the of the classes is not only the knowledge, and um, uh, and that you fill in parts that you may miss from the practical um, from from the practical side, but also it's the networking. So we go back to yeah. the first questions about networking. Yes. So uh, in a class, imagine that we have people working from uh, maybe uh, 10 or 20 different companies uh, holding different positions from the accounting department, operations, chartering, uh, legal, S&P. So there's an exchange of ideas, an exchange of practices, an exchange of mm. um, experiences, which makes it even more uh, valuable. Thank and you. Uh, you know this is uh, this is definitely the best part of uh, joining uh, the lectures. Um, okay. But uh, of course, uh, it depends on on your time, and it depends on uh, how would you like to structure your uh, studies. Uh, but nothing is impossible because last year I remember that we had um, a student who was uh, sailing on board. He was a captain. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine that he had um, plenty of responsibilities during yes, his, um, yes. his day. Um, joining the classes, the online classes from Singapore, from uh, Brazil, wherever he was, trying, you know, to keep up with the lectures. Uh, he was studying in his free time while being on board. And he got a distinction, an international distinction, uh, in our sipping la module. So nothing is impossible. Wow. Impressive. Uh, yeah. And what he said um, to us was uh, that, uh, okay, I, I could have the option of studying alone, but um, I would never change the benefit and the value that I got from um, the online class. Yes, I'm completely yes. agree about it. Mm -hmm. And just a question I didn't provide you, but about the, the exam itself, is is it like open questions? Or quickly, what how looks the the exams? Okay, the ICS exams. Um, actually, each module has its own examination. Okay, mm -mm. Uh, so its examination, uh, its exam paper has um, eight questions, eight exam topics, and students have to answer to five out of these eight exam topics within three hours uh, written examination. Okay, okay. Uh, no multiple choice questions, just full uh, written exams, um, you know, um, developing an issue, reply, answering um, on a real case scenario, um, so, for those that English is not their first language, I understand that um, that's an extra pressure, but uh, not impossible. Uh, so, you need to show that you have understood the topic, you have, um, and you have um, written this down, and the examiner is uh, able to understand 
uh, that you know, that you have understood. Oh, okay. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. The exams so are, really, the... are really demanding, but uh, with, um, you know, with uh, structured and well preparation and good preparation, you are well um, uh, prepared yes. to take these exams. Yes. Yeah, so th there is multiple way of answering to the question. It is not like there is the only way and uh, it's a pass or a fail. I mean, it's the, the, the examinator just see if you understand the... Okay. Of course, yes, of course. Okay. There's a marking plan. All the, um, as I said, uh, the exams, uh, the exam, uh, the exams are set by our uh, head office in UK. So the SS examinations are the same around the world. So, for example, if you attend okay. the modules, the um, the courses in Greece, and you are traveling to um, to Hong Kong. You can take the exams in Hong Kong because it's the same um, exam uh, session everywhere in the world. And then it's okay. grants, it's examination center. We have, um, I think, 100 and some, 143 examination centers around the world. Uh, and we can accommodate um, even exceptional uh, examination centers. So um, all the papers around, uh, from around uh, the examination centers are collected and sent back to our uh, ISS head office and then distributed okay. to our um, uh, examiners. Uh, okay. So yes, it's um, it's a procedure. It's a difficult procedure, a difficult exam. But um, you know. But yeah, if you yeah, if you are prepared, of course. It's part of, of, it's part yeah, of the professional like development. Yeah. Yeah, I just have a question. It's, maybe, uh, it's uh, not again on the list, but uh, so we have foundation advanced program and we have PQE. PQ -E. How oh, can I say like I sh I should choose this one in instead of this one? I mean, uh, you 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 mentioned that the foundation or advanced program it is for people who want to very be specific on one topic. On PQE, PQ -E, <laughs> it's for people who want to um, to have more like a wide uh, perspective of of the industry. Is, is it is that correct? Well, kind of. I will explain it to you. So, uh, the yeah. ultimate goal is to achieve the seven modules, the seven examinations, the PQE, the Professional Qualifying Examinations. But as I said, everyone has um, seven, uh, five uh, years to complete these uh, examinations. Uh, so, Foundation Diploma and Advanced Diploma are two steps before the PQE. If, for example, someone is uh, working um, full time and he's traveling a lot, he might be interested in taking just two exams, the advanced diploma, mm. and sit for the shipping business module plus one elective or economics or legal. If someone is a new entrant in the shipping industry, we will definitely recommend him to take um, the foundation diploma. But to be honest, these are only steps towards the full qualification, which is the PQE, the Professional Qualifying Examination. Okay. So, um, it's, it's um, advanced diploma and foundation diploma are examination options, not okay. learning options okay. or uh, programs, separate programs. So, we all attend seven modules and then we decide on how many exams we, we want to, to see ourselves sitting, uh, you okay. know, and uh, achieving. Um, but definitely this uh, has to do with its candidate. And uh, we are here to assist you all on in selecting the correct and the appropriate yeah, sure. um, exam method. Yeah. Okay, so our foundation will be more for people uh, who don't who want to start, uh, who, don't, don't, who don't have any clue about the subject itself. On advance, this is for people who already have some experience with, in the field and want to make it uh, uh, the next step. To certify, okay. actually, what they want to certify. But of course, the, um, the ultimate uh, goal is uh, between. Okay, of course. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. the, it's a, it, it's a good example to say that, uh, if, for example, if I really want to work as a ship manager, I will take the uh, the uh, maybe uh, advanced uh, ship management course. But then, uh, after I'm, I get this experience, I will say, oh, m maybe I should take the PQ. Then I have broader ex uh, knowledge about the industry. On, I think it's a good example. Yes. yes. To be honest, the last years, uh, most of the candidates are 
are um, taking the, the PQE anyway because um, the full qualification okay. is what uh, what the market needs. Yes. Yeah, sure. But Imagine. It's good, yeah. Uh, but but it's good that we have plenty of options and plenty of um, uh, you know of um, uh, let's say examination uh, um, facilitation uh, for yeah, yeah. for all uh, the <laughs> candidates. Yes. Okay. I want to ask you a last question. Uh, what kind of advice can you give to someone who wants to, to start uh, with ICS? Or if, of course, you want to share something else, it's your free time now. You can go for it. <laughs> okay. Just um, because we discussed a lot about the ICS Professional Martin Program and the ICS uh, examinations, um, I wanted to make sure that our audience, you know, understands what kind of program is that because we have a lot of students uh, coming and asking us, okay, I have, uh, I already have a bachelor's in shipping or a master's in shipping. Why should I go for um, the ICS uh, course? Mm. Uh, so this is something that uh, we might uh, need to clarify and to make it um, uh, easier uh to understand what kind of course uh, we do offer uh, so the ICS professional maritime program and the ICS qualification is a professional qualification it's not an academic qualification academic qualifications such as degrees from universities colleges have a broader and a more theoretical focus um, okay. it indi they indicate a level of um, educational achievement which is very important and a broad base of knowledge with which can be um, applicable in many different career paths the axis mm. qualification is a professional qualification is professionally oriented focusing on practical skills on industry specific knowledge okay. so the program is tailored for the shipping industry it focuses on practical knowledge and skills relevant to all the um, on various aspects of uh, the industry as we said ship broking shipping law operations uh, economics and finance it is industry oriented and designed to um, uh, to give to the participants to to provide the participants with a deep understanding of the shipping sector we do not uh you know we don't um, stay in what is chartering we are learning how we can do it yes so, okay that's a good point there's yeah. no competition between these two um, concepts but uh there is a need of combining these two concepts, the academic qualifications and then the professional qualifications. Both are equally important. Yes. So no. you want me uh, to maybe give a little give tips. Advice. Uh, yeah, tips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I hope that uh, it was quite clear on what we do what? in um, at the Institute of Chartered Sea Brokers and what we offer. Um, we understand that uh, each student's path is uh, unique. So, mm. of course, we offer personalized um, guidance to help you select uh, the perfect combination of modules that uh, can align with your career aspirations. Um, my, my, my basic advice is that, um, if someone has decided to work for the shipping industry, um, he or she needs to have a passion about, uh, this, um, this sector. It's a constantly, it's a sector that uh, constantly changes. Uh, yeah. We are in the bottom and then we are in the peak. You know, the shipping cycles can play different games. So um, it's a fascinating world. And I think that it has a place for, um, for all of us, uh, independently of the, um, the, the background that we are coming from. For example, if you are a lawyer, you have plenty of options uh, within the industry. If you are um, an engineer, you have also plenty of options. Uh, if you want to be engaged in the more commercial side, like chartering, Seabroking, S and P, uh, you name it. Uh, I think that uh, you have first of all to love what you have decided to do, 
Mm. And then um, your personality will guide you to the best uh, option. Of course, we are here to help you and to suggest what we think is the best uh, for you. And uh, of course, through the ICS qualification, you will get um, a deep understanding of what shipping uh, is. Uh, so what do you do? Do it with passion and, um, uh, you know, trying to be relevant with what you have decided to, to do. Thank you, Stavola, for these beautiful words of the end. Uh, it, it was a pleasure to make a podcast episode with you. I think you bring a lot of value. Now people have a clear idea, I hope, and I, I'm sure about it, uh, about what is yeah. ICS, uh, the, the different programs uh, you offer, etc. So I think yeah. it's quite interesting. Yeah, yeah go, so you want to say something? Just, um, just to, to mention that um, if you want to join one of the um, of uh, the, the the study options and the study programs that are offered around the world, um, now is um, is a good. Uh, it's a good time to, to do so as we are now preparing for our next examination session in May and we do oh, yeah. have a January's intake. Um, and then, of course, there's always an option to join one of our open days, either in Greece, um, in our uh, offices in Piraeus or some virtual open days that we organize um, uh, regularly. So it would be a great opportunity to meet anyone who is interested in taking the, um, the PQE and the ICS Professional Maritime Program. And you, do you have any uh, people can contact you in case of uh, if they have some questions, because I'm, I'm sure some people will. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, shall I, um, uh, actually, you can contact us via our uh, website, which is um, www.helmc.com. Um, or just Google ICS Greek brands and you will, uh, I will, find I will put all... in the description. Yes. Anyway. Yes. Yeah, yes. For sure. okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank Paul. you. It was, great, um, yes. it was a pleasure for me to be here with you. And, um, I hope that uh, we will help, um, anyone interested in, uh, uh, in our qualifications and, um, in, uh, building a career in, uh, shipping. For sure, for sure. My pleasure, Stavula. Have a very, very nice uh, day and I wish you all the best. Merry See you. Christmas. Take care. Also. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, for sure. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for listening and watching this episode. We are looking forward to bring you more insights from maritime professionals, experts, and students. Do not hesitate to follow the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or YouTube. Your support means a lot to us and helps us to bring you more content.